to you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today we're doing a very much longer waited video. My CAMS experience. Bear in mind, I am now 22. I got discharged from CAMS when I was 18. You know, it's, it's been a few years. I recorded and vlogged the second time I was first CAMS, but I never really spoke about the first time I went to CAMS. So, that's what this video is. And people have always wondered as well, like, what my um, experience with CAMS was like, etc. Did I have a good experience? Did I have a bad experience? How much seemed to now she has a bad experience so let's start at the beginning i am 13 i went to uni i was experiencing very severe psychosis at the time i was seeing things i was hearing things i was following a ball of light around i, I thought i could see some of my dead relatives it just all around wasn't good like it wasn't a good situation um i ended up getting admitted as a kid so I was 13. I got diagnosed by polar type 1 and I've had that diagnosis since then. I actually thought it had been changed to BPD but I'm diagnosed with both borderline personality disorder and bipolar disorder. Um, I'm diagnosed with bipolar 1 and the first medication I ever tried for my bipolar was lithium. It's the obvious first choice really. I lasted a week on it, it made me really ill. I get really dehydrated at the best of times. Taking a medication that makes you dehydrated is not good. I was then started on Depakote, which I believe is an anti-convulsant, and I took that for around a year and a half. I then got discharged from hams. I had weekly appointments and things improved, kind of. I was also involved with social services as well at that time, so I had a lot of support. So the first time around, I actually did feel really supported with cams i thought they did a good job and also just before so there's no confusion i live in london now i've lived in lancashire the cams team i was under was in telford and Reekid, which if you don't know where that is in the middle of nowhere west midlands area that's where i grew up so i was under telford and Reekid child ch children's and adolescents mental health services the second time around i was referred to them after an a and e visit after a suicide attempt second time around they wasn't that great i was referred to them for the second time when i was 16 years old which in some areas you get discharged at 16 in telford you get discharged at 18. this time it wasn't so great <laughs> i was still dealing with my fella and i kind of i was okay for a bit and then i got started on fluoroxetine and i lasted a week on that too i was on a really low dose i saw cam my cams worker every three weeks ish to be honest the, my, the appointments that got cancelled was unbelievable i ended up seeing a psychiatrist though after a summer where i literally didn't leave the house minus when i got taken to hospital in an ambulance because i was struggling with my eating disorder at that point and that led to a referral to the eating disorder services which are different to cam but i was in hospital for three weeks roughly because my vitals were so low which now i mean here's a clip from the other night of what my blood pressure's like Your blood pressure is systolic, 65 millimeter of mercury, diastolic, 46 millimeter of mercury. Your pulse was 107. Your blood pressure is abnormal. Do you want to see what it is? I heard 65. That's so low. Bit hit and miss. But the consultant that I saw the second time round under cam was a complete twat. Oh my god. He was the worst person I've ever had as a psychiatrist. He, the cams worker I had was so dismissive. Like, it, I, I, like she saw me like once every three weeks. You could tell that I wasn't eating at that time. The issue with my second referral was. I was coming up on 18 and the day before my birthday on the 3rd of December I got discharged. I didn't get transferred to adult services, no no no, they discharged me because there was less paperwork involved so I then had to wait until my next breakdown which took about a month and then I got referred to adult mental health services and I was still under eating disorder services, I was I finally got through the list and they called this like oh do you want to like move to the other end of the country, instant discharge. But back on the subject of CAMS, the CAMS worker I had didn't see me that much. She cancelled pretty much once a month. So yeah, the first time I had a great experience. It was a different part of Telford that with the so because there's different areas in Telford for different teams. So the first team I was under, amazing. 100% highly recommend. I don't get a set very often, but stuff like that. And I'm glad I do get to say it for once because nice change. But the second time massive failures i mean 
they tried me on one antidepressant, it made me ill, then they was like, well you're getting discharged, you'll be getting discharged when you're 18, so whatever basically, and then my GP kind of had to try me on other antidepressants, which didn't work. I'm going to be on with the story of how I got to the meds I'm on now because there there's a playlist of it and that was it and explain it all. Advice, if you are under cams at the moment or know someone who is, don't assume it's going to be bad. I know a lot of videos out there, I know even in this, video, in this video I've said a bad experience but not every experience is a bad experience. I've been into two different cams teams, one was amazing, one wasn't. I know some people who have had positive experience with cams but I also know plenty of people who have not had good like. It, you have to go into it open-minded. If you go in expecting to fail, it's probably going to fail. And I'm not going to sugarcoat that for anyone. Just be open, be honest, and hopefully you get help. But if you don't, don't be afraid to put a complaint in. Ask to change team, ask to see someone else. There are, there are things you can do within cams. And I, in the first time around, I did change what key worker twice. And then the third person I, I clicked with. I'll find someone you can open up to and be honest with. But yeah, my cams experience isn't that intense really. Because when I was under them, I was there for different things. The first time around, it was because I was psychotic. Because I, I, I was dealing with my first major psychotic episode. And then second time was for depression. I will catch you guys tomorrow with a new video and if you have any questions or anything you want to add to this video or got, had an experience you want to share let me know in the comments down below and if you didn't know I do have a Patreon for those of you who would like to support this channel even more. Happy 1st of June!